Story Bodhi presents The Pizza Box. Hello friends, I am a pizza box. Can you tell what shape I am? Hmm. Yippee! You guessed it right. I am a square. Let's think of another square. Suddenly the pizza box can be seen shaking. Hey, what's that shaking inside me? Can you guess? The pizza box opens up. Yes, you guessed it right. It's a pizza. Mr. Pizza, can you tell all my friends what shape are you? Am I a rectangle? Friends, is Mr. Pizza right? Think, think. No, Mr. Pizza is a circle. Suddenly, a sobbing sound can be heard. <laughs> no, Miss Knife, please don't cut me into pieces. I want to remain a big circle, like the moon. Please don't cut me into pieces. But Miss Knife doesn't listen to Mr. Pizza and cuts it into slices with its sharp edges. The pizza starts crying. No, don't cut me. Don't cut me. Hey friends, now can you guess what is the shape of Mr. Pizza? Friends, is the pizza slice a square like me? Or is it a circle like Mr. Pizza? The pizza slice gets angry. No, I am triangle. Pizza slice, please don't be angry. Friends, today we learnt about three shapes. Can you remember all three? I am a square. I am a circle. And I am triangle. Bye bye friends. We'll meet you again in the next story. Story Bodhi presents Teeny Weeny Rabbit Starring Savi Savi, a small girl, is very fond of her pet dog. The dog's name is Chiku. Once during her summer vacations, she goes to her grandparents' house along with Chiku. Her two cousins, Veer and Janvi, also live there. Savi reaches her grandparents' house. Veer drags her somewhere. Where are you taking me, Veer? Didi, come with us. We have to show you something. All of them run towards the backyard of their grandparents' bungalow. Savi sees a cute little family of five flurry and white rabbits and their mother. Are these ours? Yes, Didi. Grandpa brought it for us to play with. They are so cute and fluffy, just like my white teddy bear. Just then, Grandmother calls them for dinner. The next morning, Savi sees that Veer and Janvi look worried. What happened? Why are you both not having breakfast? Didi, today morning, me and Janvi went to the backyard to play with the rabbits. But... But? The smallest teeny weeny rabbit is missing and the mama rabbit is not eating anything. Chiku is looking at Savi and wagging his tail. Suddenly, Savi has an idea. Chiku, will you help us find the teeny weeny rabbit? Chiku nods his head and takes them to a cow. Have you seen our teeny weeny rabbit, Mr. Cow? Mm, yes, I saw him hopping towards the pond. Thank you, Mr. Cow. All of them go near the pond. Quack, quack. What brings you here? Quack. We are searching for our teeny weeny rabbit, Uncle Duck. Quack, quack. He hopped towards the forest after drinking water. Quack, quack. They go towards the forest. Chiku starts barking. Savi comes up with a plan. She starts keeping carrots everywhere. Didi, why are you keeping carrots everywhere? Grandpa once told me, rabbits love carrots. 
Just then, they see a rabbit coming off the woods. Look, Didi, our teeny weeny rabbit. Shh, Janvi, don't scream. He will run away. Savi walks towards the rabbit. The teeny weeny rabbit hops into Savi's arm. Story Bodhi presents The Bumpy Bicycle. It's a bright sunny morning. Miss Bicycle is getting ready. She is swinging on her favorite tune. Suddenly, she bumps onto Uncle Car's door. Be careful, Miss Bicycle. I will get a scratch. I just got painted yesterday. I am sorry, Uncle Car. You are shining in that blue color. Uncle Car looks proudly at himself and smiles. Hmm. So where are you going this morning, Miss Bicycle? Uncle Car, I'm going to meet my new small brother, the Monocycle. He lives with mom and dad. But, Miss Bicycle, what's a monocycle? I have never seen one. Friends, do you know what's a monocycle? Uncle Car, a monocycle is a cycle like me, but it has only one tire. Uncle Car blinks its headlights and smiles. Friends, can you tell me how many tires does Uncle Car have? Miss Bicycle starts counting. Miss Bicycle, be careful. Don't bump into me again. I think three. Uncle Car laughs at her. <laughs> friends, is Miss Bicycle right? Come friends, let's count again. Miss Bicycle starts cycling around Uncle Car again and counts. Hey friends, repeat after me. One, two. While going on the other side, Miss Bicycle bumps onto a drum and its bell rings. Miss Bicycle, pay attention here and stop bumping into everything. Three, four. Uncle Car honks. Miss Bicycle looks at its watch. Uncle Car, Uncle Car, I need to reach before lunch. Mom and Dad will scold me if I don't. Miss Bicycle rushes towards the garage's gate and bumps into the gate also. Miss Bicycle, how many times I've told you not to be in such a hurry? <laughs> I'm sorry, Uncle Car. I will be careful from now. Drive carefully. Don't bump into anyone. And don't forget to click pictures with your brother, Mr. Monocycle. <laughs> yes, I will. Bye-bye, Uncle Car. Bye, friends. We'll meet you in the next story. Miss Bicycle starts cycling down the road on her favorite bell tune. Uncle Car waves its wipers. <laughs>